Chúc mừng năm mới. Welcome back everyone to day two of the third 2021 festival. So, how? What do we have in store for them today? All sorts of things really. So today is really about the showcasing of how much content we've created for this third 2021 vest festival. I hope you're all keen and excited to learn more about Vietnamese culture. So with that being said, what's up first? So up first is actually a documentary about the team that's behind the festival. These guys have been at it for five years in a row now, and Dirt 2021 has definitely been challenging and difficult as the rest are posed to be. And right after that, we have the Vietnamese superstitious skits where we showcase what and what not to do around the Lunar New Year. But before that, please make sure you visit our website since there's a whole bunch of things to explore. There's a lot of videos and photos that are coming up live as this event unfolds. So be sure to use our hashtag Dirt Festival and share our content. All our videos will be uploaded on YouTube. So be sure to share your favorite moments. Without further ado, please welcome the Dirt team for the documentary, Home of Dirt. How would you describe the Dirt team in a couple of words? Um, bold. Adventurous. Young. <laughs> Innovative. Quirky. <laughs> wild. <laughs> A bad influence. They always look out for their mates. Loyal and too good for me. Hi, my name is Damon Yuan, the General Manager for Dead 2021 Festival. <laughs> Just saying that makes me realise how much responsibility that is on my shoulder this year. Every year, my friends and I get together to organise the biggest and most ambitious festival that we can possibly create in Victoria. This year has been particularly challenging because of the pandemic. We had to change from an event team to a film production team within six months. But 2021 isn't a journey we just want to tell. This documentary is about the team's journey for the past five years. So we want to take you back to a time when inexperience, bad luck, and a good team all collided together in 2017. Oh well, it's a bit of trepidation, it's a bit uncertain because we have been doing it for, the community have been doing this, the generation, first generation been doing this for years and decades. Uh, and then we, uh, so we're not quite sure, you know, uh, how they're going to do it. There's a lot of question marks of when we finally think of the handover to the younger generation. Uh, we're not quite sure what the result would be. <laughs> Some people in the community had some doubts over their ability to carry out such a large festival as, as DIRT. But I think over the years they've proven themselves to be a very capable, dependable and, and trustworthy group of people that have been able to pull off some really fantastic and memorable, memorable festivals in the past. We were very proud uh, and, and I think your, the team keep growing in you know, innovations. Uh, uh, the, 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 you can see that, that, that how how it's the fresh look, the whole festival, and, and it's also a, a mixture. And then you also grown in knowing how to work with the community as well. I think one of the things that has really grown, uh, well, that, that I've really enjoyed working with the team on is just their camaraderie and sort of the trust they have in each other. They've taken the traditions and what we do in the De festival from decades ago, but also brought a, a breath of fresh air to it. They've brought some fresh ideas um, and I think that has really made our festival quite the memorable experience that it is today. So I kind of got roped into it as a little kid. So I knew Go Tu from when we were young, when we were doing like um, art drawing classes. And then one year she was like, hey guys, like, do you want to be part of a performance? And then I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Um, and then from there, we kind of just came back every year and then as I got older, I was able to do more things and I, I wanted to do more things and I just put my hand up. Uh, my father is a very prominent member of the Vietnamese community. He was the one who actually helped, kind of helped organise all the events for the past decade or so, I would say. So ever since I was young, I've been involved in the event in some way or form, whether I realised it or not. 
So I guess in a lot of ways, it, this was destiny that I would one day look after the vegetable. <laughs> we all came together like many, many years ago now, looking back on it, um, I got pulled in. And back then we were very, uh, very young, very idealistic. It's before we took sort of official roles in the festival. It was very much just sort of like a, a fun thing to do with your boys. And then it ended up becoming a uh, bigger part of my life than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, so I joined the kind of spontaneously. Um, I didn't really have any festival volunteer experience going in. So kind of jumping in the deep end. Um, I did some backstage crew work during high school. It was a way for me to you know, figure out that I enjoy bringing something to an audience. And so the festival has been a way to really bring the same joys to me. I, I enjoy putting on this festival every year and, you know, seeing people coming through the doors and have a good time. I always went to the third festivals when I was younger and when I was growing up I saw the team and it looked pretty fun and everyone seemed to, so close to each other so I was like hey why not. Back at that time you know I didn't know what to expect I just knew that we had a very strong group of people a very capable group of people that could really which I thought at the time could really make something different and do something really different uh, and, and they set out and they did just that. So I guess before I joined that we were kind of my family was kind of very isolated when we had our like new year celebrations um, but then once we started kind of volunteering at that I realized how big and like how friendly the community was and like that became much more important to me when I had important people to celebrate it with. I'm a big fan of the challenge. I like the sort of the long hours and the late nights, putting things together, planning. And then I suppose the, the reward from that is saying it all come to fruition at the end. I, I, I love waking up at six o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep the night before um, and I'm running on like three hours of sleep. So I'm running on like four Red Bulls a day. <laughs> and um, that Friday is always exciting. You know? it's, it's a real adrenaline, adrenaline rush to, to come into a, an empty room and then literally see it transform within 24 hours. Like just the night before that, it's really beautiful kind of seeing everything set up but without the people and then knowing that within like 12 hours this whole place was going to be filled with people having fun, um, eating delicious food. Seeing all the photos pop up on Instagram of people enjoying the festival, I think to know that the whole team has put on such a great festival that everyone can take memories of and enjoy, that really sets an impression for me to remind myself that we're putting on this festival not for ourselves but for everyone else. It's been a good time and I think that's why I've been coming back every year. I think the most rewarding part was actually getting to meet so many great people and becoming good friends with a lot of these people. It's all about creating a lot of strong bonds with one another under hardship. I, I trust the people I work, I work with to solve their own issues, to manage themselves, to, to to hit, to hit deadlines and goals on their own. And that's been probably one of the biggest takeaways I had from the festival. Everyone, everyone was really social and I could always start off a conversation with them and they never failed to give me advice. The sense of just home, you know, and it wasn't nothing too serious. And I felt that I'd been instantly accepted into the family. They kind of welcomed me in with like open arms. They're really nice group of people that really just come back to this festival each year to help out just for the love of this you know just to, to come back and put on a show for everyone and we because we're volunteers we get to go behind the scenes and you get to see how everything comes together and I just remember sitting on the fence line um, of where the fireworks were about to be set off I just remember looking at the fireworks going off and then looking back and just seeing this massive sea of people just really stopping for a moment and enjoying that 10 minutes of the fireworks display. And you could just see that, that as you looked at them, that they were reminiscing, you know, of, of, of certain things. And they could just, you could just see how happy they were to be with their family, even if it was for a brief period of time. And, and when I looked at that, I really felt like, you know, like the, that all the suffering and pain that we'd gone in the couple of days and the, and the organizing times, you know, the, the months before that culminates to that point. That was probably the most memorable moment for me. I think seeing a young team like that with a singular vision, with a singular idea, and really being able to pull it off has been very inspiring and encouraging, particularly as someone from the executive team. 
at the end now, we, we leave it to entirely young people, that unthinkable of years ago, that we older people would sit, sit back, enjoy ourselves, come along, and see the entire festival run from A to Z by the young people. That is the most fundamental, most pleasant, and the most successful element of this festival. I think Bert has really been able to show me that I'm more capable of than what I think I am. In any case, you know, I got to really experience all the small parts of Bert coming together on the day. I think it's been really important for me in how I progress to really see how many people come in on the day to get things set up. And that gives me a great sense, great sense of respect for you know, how, how well we organise it sort of opened my world up in terms of, you know, doing other sort of community projects around the place. So, you know, coming to Tet encouraged me to then sort of um, volunteer with other communities around Melbourne and around the local area. 2017, Albert was really green and thought he could change the world and went in there guns blazing. What's changed for me is 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 the, the, ration, the, the reason of why we do it. Let's, let's create an event as a homage to when I was a, a child growing up. So 2017 is very mixed because the weather was awful, um, but I learned to trust in the gear that, that I brought along and the people I work alongside with. Um, but 2020, you know, we, I think we put together an amazing event. I think we had decorations with, you know, absolutely sublime that day. Five years of experience coming together beautifully to culminate in probably our best festival yet. We had a grand vision of you know, umbrella walls and floating trees, floating lanterns in the air, you know, twinkling in the sky. Realistically, it wasn't gonna happen, but you know, we tried our best shot at it, I gotta say. Um, I think we did it as well as we could have. It's that, it's that sense of, you know, we haven't done it before, but let's not, let's try it, you know, let's see how it goes. But I feel like Tet has got a lot more of a, a dynamic side to it. You know, we sort of encourage more creativity and we don't try and deliver the same thing every year. As Instead, we try and improve every year and offer more and more and new things. And I think that's what I like about TET. The best part about Sandown TET is the um it's the audience, to be honest, the crowd to come along. I don't think, you know, we, we, we thank them enough, really. I mean, we put together this event, you know, it takes a lot of work out of us, you know, but the crowds, you know, generally speaking, always turn up. You know, even when I was young, Sandown was the place to go to for the, for the authentic debt experience. It's not about being flashy and extravagant and having the biggest and best things. It's about creating a sense or an environment where the pit, the volunteers, the the attendees feel like this is their festival. It's this sense of appreciation of people and a sense of, of pride that you get from making a festival that I think fair, not many other uh, communities in Australia really get to do the way we do it.
feels like he gives me a lot of Lee mm. Dude, I'm pretty sure I saw him eat fur with a fork one time. And also, he wears his shoes inside the house. Oh. Hmm. What about... Bakung? Dude, she's always like, if we invite her, she'll rock up the next day. What about... Anji? Mm. Mm -mm. That guy can't cook rice. He uses a... Uh, colander. <gasps> well, I guess that just leaves. Huh. Hmm. Welcome back everyone. We hope you've enjoyed that wonderful documentary and learnt something a little bit about the team that's behind the event this year. So how? What superstition have you learnt this year? So after watching the video, I've learnt that I probably shouldn't be wearing black during Lunar New Year and I'm dressed up all in black right now, so my luck's not looking too good. I feel you there. <laughs> well, anyways, next up is a showcase of all of our iconic Vietnamese foods. Vietnamese culture is thoroughly known for our delicious cuisine, so this event would be incomplete without a showcase of all of our wonderful dishes. So first up is the Taste of Dirt, which is a tutorial video on how to make truly iconic New Year dishes. So follow closely and try it at home yourself. After that is something a little bit more fun and wholesome, our blind cooking challenge. Follow Rob and his lovely mother try to cook up a delicious bun sale without seeing each other's efforts. And finally, it would not be that without our infamous Iron Stomach Challenge. 2021 marks the fifth anniversary of this disgusting and horrific tradition. So stay tuned and let's cook up a storm. At around about this time of the year, every Vietnamese household will be getting pretty busy. And that's because in a week's time, dirt or the Vietnamese Lunar New Year will be upon us. Food is the very soul of Vietnamese culture. And for thousands of years, it's been able to bring people together no matter how far apart they've been. Hey everybody, I'm Albert. And in this video, I wanna show you how to make some of the most delicious, hearty and humble dishes that I grew up eating every year during dirt because who wouldn't froth a juicy piece of tip coal to kick off the new year. I've siphoned these recipes from mum, who is the head chef of the Lee household. And I'm gonna try, operative word try, to not let her down because she'll probably disown me if I give her a bad name. So here goes. Without further ado, these are the tastes of Tet. If you've grown up in a Vietnamese household, dirt is a celebration that often goes for four days. New Year's Eve, the first, the second, and the third day but actually preparations begin a week before. The story goes that there is a kitchen god on Thao and he needs to report back to the Jade Emperor at the end of the lunar year about all the families. So he starts his journey seven days before the end of the month. And before he goes on his way with journey, we usher him off with some tea and snacks. You can grab any snacks. I have here some traditional peanut and sesame snacks, but you can use any from your Asian groceries. All you need to do is place them nicely on a plate. Next up, it's time to brew some jasmine tea. Place the tea and the snacks on your nearest cooktop and light some incense for Ang Dao. Don't forget to pour your man some tea and say a few words of prayer. 
Now once the formalities are out of the way, it's time to taste some of the snacks. Alright, on to the real show now. First up, Tetka Jungya, or braised pork belly with eggs. And to kick off, we start by making the caramel colouring. In a small pot, on low to medium heat, stir in one quarter cup of raw sugar along with one tablespoon of water. Now let that simmer until the sugar starts to melt and caramelise. We're looking for a very deep dark brown colour that's very viscous in texture, and very rich looking. Now keep a constant look on it because it's going to be bubbling a lot and it can burn quite quickly. Once it's at this colour, take it off the heat and add another tablespoon of water whilst stirring. Pour it into a small cup and let it cool down. It should be a very thick liquid, like the colour of Coca-Cola. Next, we need to boil some eggs. Put some water in the boil and get a small pin-like tool to poke an ever so small hole at the bottom of the egg. Doing this will ensure that the eggs don't stick to the shell when you start peeling them. Now, once the temperature of the boiling water hits about 100 degrees or rolling boil, using a wooden spoon, carefully place the eggs into boiling water for about seven to eight minutes. Remember to constantly stir for about the first minute or so. This will ensure that the yolk is centered. After they're done, take them out and immediately plunge them in a nice bath. This will ensure that the eggs don't keep cooking after you take them out and wait for them to cool down before peeling. Next up, we're crushing six cloves of garlic. You'll notice that I've crushed the garlic before peeling them and that makes it so much easier to take the skin off. Now set aside about four dried chilies and a few modest sprinkles of black peppercorns. Now that that's all out of the way, it's time to direct our attention to this salacious, ever so seductive piece of one kilogram pork belly, which will use an old razor to shave any excess hair off the skin for a much more smoother melt in your mouth experience. Now what we're trying to do here is to cut the pork belly into obnoxiously large pieces that are just way too big to fit all in your mouth. But worry not, there is a method to this madness. It's so that when we start braising, the pork belly will continue to reduce down into a much more mouth-friendly form factor. Now once we've passed that milestone, it's about time to bring everything together. Pour one litre of water into a pot and add in two cans of coconut juice by puncturing two holes on the top of both cans on either side. Once all our liquids are in the pot, it's time to turn on the stove and bring them to the boil. Now it's super important to bring the pot to a boil before adding in the pork belly. This is to ensure that once everything is cooked, the broth is super clear. Now that we've added the pork belly into the pot, it's now time to add in the garlic, the dry chilies and the black peppercorns. Also add in one teaspoon of the dark caramel mixture from before. To flavor this, add one third cup with an extra teaspoon of fish sauce, followed by one half teaspoon of MSG for the umami bombs. Now we don't need to add any sugar because the coconut juice is sweet enough. Now once all that's in, close the lid and let it simmer on low heat for about 90 minutes, after which we'll add back in our boiled eggs and let that simmer for another 10 minutes, remembering to turn it over every few minutes so that the eggs can get some nice color before taking it off the heat. And boom, that's Tetka everybody. Kanuwa Yom or stuffed bitter melon soup. Let's begin by making the stuffing for the bitter melon. Start by rehydrating the black fungus by adding some warm water, just enough to cover 15 grams of dry black fungus. Once rehydrated, roughly dice and set aside. Now grab 20 grams of your dried shrimp that has been rehydrated in hot water and pound it in a mortar and pestle until the texture becomes flaky and fluffy. Set this aside as well. Next up, grab the glass noodles that have been rehydrated in warm water for over half an hour and cut them into two finger length pieces. Now pop that onto the plate along with the fungus and the dried prawns. And now we move over to the mince. Grab one kilogram of butcher minced pork belly and place it into a bowl. Now grab that pretty looking plate from earlier and slide the contents into the bowl. After this, grab a micro plane grater and grate three cloves of peeled garlic into the bowl. Follow this up by also grating in one whole bulb of a shallot and then chop finely the bits that can't be grated in. Grind in some black pepper, followed by the Vietnamese trifecta of seasoning, one half teaspoon of salt, one half a teaspoon of MSG and one tablespoon of sugar. Now don't stop there, follow up immediately with one teaspoon of soy sauce, one half teaspoon of fish sauce, and about a handful of some finely chopped spring onions. 
Now go on and combine the stuffing together in a bowl and really get your hands and extremities in there. Now to the star of the dish, the bitter melon. Carefully lop off a tiny bit of either side, cut it in half, and then uh, in half again? Yeah, sure, why not? You want large chunks that are about six centimeters in length. Then using the back of a spoon, scoop out the insides of the bitter melon. Realize it's gonna take ages, so call in mum for some heavy firepower. Once cleaned, it's time to stuff the bitter melon. Using one hand, clasp the bitter melon chunk so that your fingers close off one end. This is to ensure that the stuffing doesn't fall out the other side when you start pushing it in. Using a spoon, start scooping in some of that good old stuffing and press it down firmly so that there are no large air pockets left inside the cavity. Once you've stuffed all of the bitter melon, set them aside for now because we're about to move on to the glue of this dish, the broth. Yeah, so I kind of forgot to mention this to you earlier. I know, I'm sorry, that's strike one. But you'll need some chicken stock to make the broth. You can use the pre-made store-bought stock or you can be an OG and make your own very easily by buying some chicken frames or bones from your local butcher or poultry connoisseur. Add one and a half liters of stock into a new pot and season with some cracked black pepper and the Vietnamese golden triangle of seasoning, which is one tablespoon of salt, one half teaspoon of MSG and one tablespoon of sugar. Now to this, we also add another umami agent, three tablespoons of fish sauce. Now all that's left is to let the broth come to the boil and then forget that it was boiling and then panic and then quickly lower in the stuffed bitter melon. Let it simmer for 40 minutes on low to medium heat and finally garnish with some chopped spring onions. Jiaochua sour bean sprouts. This next one's pretty easy. First off, get some Chinese chives or hair and cut them up in five centimeter chunks. Then using a grater or a slicer, the can julian carrots, grate one carrot. Now it's time to boil some water in the kettle and blanch the bean sprout for about two minutes before draining the water and adding it back in the Chinese chives and carrots whilst mixing together. From here on, we make our pickling solution. Add one cup of white vinegar and one third cup of sugar to one half cup of cold water. Then sprinkle in a half teaspoon of salt and give it a whisk to combine and then pour the pickling solution that you've just made into the bean sprouts, the carrots, and the Chinese chives. Now that the pickling solution is in the bowl, lightly press down the veggies so that the pickling solution can really get to work. Leave it for about two hours in the fridge or until ready to serve. Gai chua is a staple in most Vietnamese feasts. It's like the palate cleanser from the rich meats and the hearty soups. Okay, to start off, we're going to peel and then finally julienne or grate three large carrots and one white radish. We'll then take one whole onion and run it through a mandolin if you're lazy like me or hand slice it if you want to be an OG. Now add all of this into a mixing bowl and shuffle up all the content so that the onions, the carrots and the radish are now intertwined. Next up, it's time for the pickling solution. Once again, take one half cup white vinegar and combine it in a mixing vessel with one half cup cold water and one half cup of sugar along with one half teaspoon of salt. Mix it well together before pouring it into the carrot and radish and onion mixture. Like before, press down gently so that the pickling solution can really get to work. I set this aside for two hours. Now onto the bit where hopefully no one gets weirded out on. Yep. Yeah. I'm talking about boiling the pig ears, which you can get at your local Asian butcher. Pig ear is more about texture than it is about flavor. It provides you that extra crunch. In a saucepan of boiling water, dunk in the pig ears and boil for 10 minutes before setting aside to cool down. Whilst that's cooling, we'll get started on the seafood. First off, by starting with the calamari that we got fresh from Footscray Market. What we'll do now is make a cross hatch on the surface of the calamari with a knife so that when it cooks, the incisions puff out, helping it cook faster and spring like some kind of weird white flower thing. Into a pot of boiling water, add the calamari and about six or so large fresh tiger prawns that are unpeeled at the same time. Watch the color of the prawns. What we're looking for is a, an orange color that doesn't look translucent. As for the calamari, we're also looking for a pearl white color that's also not translucent. Immediately shock the prawns and calamari in an ice bath once they are cooked. Next, we peel the prawns and devein them, followed by cutting them in half. For the calamari, cut them into thin strips about 0.2 centimeter thickness. Slightly tilt the knife towards you and cut it at an angle to increase the surface area of the strip. 
Now remember those pig ears? It's time we cut them too in the same style, angling the knife towards us and making thin angled slices. Once done, set all the pig ears and seafood aside, because now it's time to check back on our pickled vegetables. Grab handfuls at a time and rinse out any excess pickling solution. Like really put your hands into it and really squeeze out those pickle juices. It's now time to add some herbs into our guy. We're using Vietnamese mint here, or rau ram. To make sure we're using the right bits of the Vietnamese mint, take a stalk and pick only the leaves, then roughly chop them. Now we don't want them too thin. Now that we've prepared all the ingredients for the guy, we need to bring them all together using the dressing. To get started, break three fresh chilies into a mortar and pestle. Add to this four cloves of crushed garlic, one tablespoon of sugar, and half teaspoon of MSG. Ground this mixture into a paste until it's become a deep orange and red color. Add to this mixture one tablespoon and two extra teaspoons of fish sauce, along with the juice of one and a half whole lemons. Stir well until a thick dressing is formed. Now that we have everything ready, it's time to get mixing. Sprinkle in a generous amount of crushed roasted unsalted peanuts and combine all the prepared ingredients and stir well with the dressing. Use a chopstick to avoid bruising the ingredients as you mix. Once all combined, you can just pop it into the fridge and serve it later when chilled. Now these dishes that we've just made are served over the first two days of Tet. It's a humble feast that can fill the bellies of those who've been working hard all year. On the last day of Tet, it's our duty to usher off Ang Tao with one final feast. In our family, that means jiao ga or chicken congee. Start off by soaking one cup of rice in one cup of lukewarm water for an hour. This helps the congee cook quicker and release the starch. Whilst the rice is rehydrating, let's work on our chicken. Buy a free range chicken from your local poultry farm or butcher or supermarket. Before we boil this, we need to mold it into a presentable shape. We do this by cutting down the breast side of the chicken and butterflying it so that it sits flat on the chopping board. This will require a bit of bending back the bones and thighs until the joints dislocate and don't spring back. Next, push back the head along the spine and interlock the wings like this. From here, make incisions on the joint of the leg that connects to the feet to the drumstick. Realize you've made the incision on the wrong side of the bird and then start to panic a little. Mom, help, please. Take a step back and watch the master at work. What we're meant to do is make the incision on the inside of the joint and bend it backwards so that it folds into the bird like this. Remember, we're not cutting through the joint, but just enough to loosen it so that we can bend it. Next, grab some butcher twine and secure the two legs together by tying the twine underneath the drumstick and the feet together. Don't forget to keep the liver and the giblet for later on. Next, bring two liters of water to the boil and carefully place in your chicken with the wing facing upwards. Add in a quartered peeled brown onion and cover it with a lid. Turn down the heat to medium and boil until the thickest part of the chicken has reached an internal temperature of 66 degrees Celsius. If you don't have a thermometer, just cook it for about half an hour. Once cooked, remove the chicken and place it carefully on a plate. Using the leftover broth, we now will make our congee. Start by adding in the soaked rice, including the water that was rehydrating it. At this stage, we'll also flavor the congee with one tablespoon of fish sauce, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of MSG, and half a teaspoon of sugar. Cover with a lid and turn the heat to low to let the congee cook and thicken. Stir every 10 minutes to ensure the rice doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot. If you're happy with the thickness or viscosity, taste to see if re-seasoning is required. Otherwise you can turn off the heat and keep the lid on to keep it warm. The final piece is to create the ginger dipping sauce. Take out the mortar and pestle again, add into it four slices of roughly chopped ginger, three cloves of peeled garlic, three red hot chilies, or two if you don't want it too much heat, half a teaspoon of MSG, and one tablespoon of sugar. Pound the mixture down into a paste and add in one tablespoon and two teaspoons of fish sauce to flavor. Finally, squeeze in one and a half lemons and add just two teaspoons of water while stirring to ensure that all the flavor and seasoning has been fully combined. Now it's time to plate up. This will go to the altar for prayer, after which we take a heavy hilted blade and carve the chicken. Serve this with some fresh Vietnamese mint or rau rum from before and that's really all there is to it. Best served with an accompanying family for good vibes. See you later, Ang Tao. I'll see you next year, mate. This concludes the Tastes of Tet video. If you do try and make any of it, 
Let us know how it tastes. For all the proper recipes, please visit our website. I want to take this time to also thank my mum, who's inspired me along my journey of learning how to cook. She's such an amazing woman who cooked for her family out of passion and love. Thank you everyone who decided to tune in. Have an awesome new year and stay classy. Hey everyone, my name is Rob and I am here with my lovely mum, just on that side, at the Neil Perry Kitchen at Paran Market. We're here today to participate in Dirt's 2021's Blind Cooking Challenge, where I try to make my mum's bun sale with only her voice. Uh, for those who don't know, bun sal is a South Vietnamese crispy pancake that goes great with fish sauce and sal means sizzle. So let's see if I can make some noise and make my mum proud. <laughs> let's do this! So... Ôi làm gì trước mà? Tại bây giờ con lấy cái bột này nha. Bột. Bột gì? Cái bột này là bột bánh xèo. Oh, right, right. Bột bánh xèo. Bột bánh xèo hiểu con gà. Oh, yeah. Bây giờ mình pha cái này nửa bịch thôi. Con cắt. Cắt lấy nửa bịch nha. Nửa bịch. All right. That means half. Half of the packet. I'm trying to process Vietnamese and English at the same time. Không, không. Mình bóp nó. Mình bóp nó. Mình nửa bịch bỏ vô trong cái cái nồi mà mình để bên đó. Oh, okay. So she said around half. Half. Um, so with Asian mums, it's just around half. So it's not like, you know, 250 mils, 300 mils is just around half. So just put around half. Well, I will put around half. Half cái bịch bột nghệ. What? Bột nghệ hả? Bột nghệ cái bột vàng vàng ở trên cái bịch đó. Nó dài dài á. Thấy chưa? Vàng vàng phải không? Bột vàng vàng. Okay. This is the only thing that's kind of yellow. So I'm guessing this is bột nghệ. Half. About half. Rồi. Con cho nước dừa vô. Nửa hộp Nước dừa, coconut milk Coconut milk, half milk Ơ, ờ, quên nó half milk, nó lộn Half, half long Half long, Nửa half long. can Nửa long. Let's open this That bad boy Oh yeah uh, Nửa, half Half About half of 270 mils, which is 135 Is it 135? My math is terrible, I, I failed math in high school I think that's half Oh, it's a bit more than half it's alright, it'll taste extra creamy. <laughs> and then con mix vào. Do I mix it? Rồi, bây giờ con lấy con lấy cái muỗng dài dài á con quậy. Okay. Quậy sơ sơ thôi rồi bỏ okay. bỏ nước lạnh vô. Alright. Để nó coi cho lại. Alright. Wait, how much water? Chén. Con lấy cái chén qua con lấy nước. Bao nhiêu? Con cho chừng ít hơn nửa chén nước lạnh đi. Ít hơn nửa chén, a bit less than half a cup, <laughs> something like that. Oh, hi, mom. Hello. Oh, hello. Ít hơn nửa chén, rồi con con cho thêm cái nước soda water vô cho nó giòn. Uh, let's hope this is enough. Rồi cái chai soda water nè, bỏ vô thêm. Yeah, yeah, get it. Nè nè, lấy lấy cái nước soda water nha, làm sao này nha What? Soda? Soda water nè Oh, thank you Bỏ vô cỡ chừng... How much? Just a tad Just swish you Con đổ vô từ từ đi, ít ít hơn hấp đi Ít hơn hấp là cái gì? Ít hơn hấp cái này Ít hơn hấp cái chén á, chứ không phải ít hơn hấp đó Oh, ok Con đổ vô từ từ để bột nó nhão á Đổ vô từ từ để coi Để quậy coi coi Just a bit <cười> Just a bit <cười> That's how Asian kitchens work. Just a bit of this, a bit of that, as long as it tastes good. Oh my gosh, she just called me a pig. How could you, mum? Rồi, quậy bột đều chưa? Yes. Xong bây giờ cắt hành lá, bỏ vô. Hành lá. Spring onion. Yes. I'm a... I'm a... I'm a pro. Cắt nhỏ vừa vừa thôi Yeah Ok, bỏ vô cái nồi bột bánh xèo Ok, cái bột bánh xèo xong rồi Ok, bây giờ con Con lấy uh, hai tép tỏi đi À, hai tép tỏi Con cắt ở dưới chút xíu con bỏ đi Rồi xong đập nó ra, xong cái bầm bầm cho nó cho nó nhỏ Do what Gordon Ramsay does That was terrible 
Mà nó mới bỏ hai hai tép thôi hả? À? Ờ à, hai tép thôi. Nếu mà đông người thì mình làm nhiều. Ít người thì mình làm ít thôi. Chừng nào xong cái tỏi đó thì con con cắt ớt. Ok. Và ớt hả? À? Ớt con cắt nó ra để con lấy cái hột nó ra. Lấy hết cái hột ra để hồi ăn nó cay quá. Nè, con để hộp cho vui. Let's make it chili. Để hộp thì nó đẹp nhưng mà ăn vô nó cay quá má cũng sợ. Chop 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 chop. I can smell the chili. Rồi, chừng nào tỏi ớt cho xong. Con cắt cho anh ra làm hai rồi con dắt nó vô. Ok. Bà quầy bao nhiêu chanh vậy? Chanh con con dắt vô hai hai miếng hai bên á. Ok. Khoảng là gần gần nửa trái. Đây chai nước mắm. Quay quá con con bỏ uh, chanh rồi bây giờ gì nữa? Bỏ chanh con bỏ chừng uh, đường hai. Đường á? À, bỏ đường. Rồi ạ, xuống cơ. Bỏ hết nha. Rồi bỏ hết đi. Rồi ok. Rồi nữa. Rồi con bỏ uh, chừng chút nước lạnh vô khoảng chừng. Uh, Khoảng chừng 3 muỗng mình ăn cơm á Ờ ok Nước lạnh khoảng chừng 3 muỗng Some water 3 3 tablespoons of water I'll just put a little bit Con bỏ vô chút nước soda water là nó ngon lắm Wait what? Nước mắm người ta làm ta bỏ tí nước soda water Really? Má bỏ không? Bỏ vô đây chút ngon lắm Ờ oh, con nói I didn't I didn't know people put soda water in fish sauce A uh, little bit of soda water Never heard of, heard of this before but Apparently it's not. Rồi, nước mắm ở đâu? Còn bỏ nước mắm không? Đây, nước mắm. Mắm con bỏ vô khoảng chừng 2 muỗng đi. 2 muỗng hơn. 2 muỗng đó. Strong. Hay là hơn 2 muỗng gì cũng được, từ từ con quậy Wait, con bao nhiêu? How much? Cái muỗng đó, cái muỗng uh, ăn How cơm á. Yeah. Con quậy con bỏ vô chừng 2 muỗng nước mắm. Rất là lớn, I don't know. It tastes it. Ah! Oh, chili. Crap! Look, look, look. Oh man! Oh, chili! Hey, can... I think I should put some more can water on Nước mắm. Nước mắm hey, I... Oh! I should listen to mom taking out the seeds. Bị ớt hả? À? Yep. Má nói mà. <laughs> ok. Chừng nào con see... quậy xong con... I want to see YOLO. Con hấp thử rồi nó vừa ăn chưa? <laughs> Let's try it again. It's better. 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 Rồi con quậy nước mắm chưa? Quậy quậy rồi con yeah. hấp, hấp thử thôi nó có vừa ăn không? Hấp thôi. Hấp con hấp thấy hấp. mặn hay lạc hay là nó mặn ngọt ngọt chưa chưa? That's pretty good. Nếu mà nó thấy nó mặn con cho vô tí soda water là nó ngon lắm. Ok, lưu bị ok rồi. Right, right. Nó mặn không? It's it's pretty nice but pretty chilly. But it's nice. I like it. Ok, nước mắm từ nào xong giờ mới bào cà rốt nè. Ok. Rồi, bây giờ con bào cà rốt chưa? À, chưa, má cho cái đồ bào rồi. Con bào ra. Ô trời ơi, con bào. Ah! Ah! Thank you me please. Rồi, <cười> right, thank you. Bào xong cái con cắt mỏng đi, con cắt nó có, có sợi có sợi mình làm đồ chua hết này. Ok. Thin, thin thin strips nhé. Yeah? Cắt nhỏ nhỏ. À, cắt mỏng trước, cắt cá lát mỏng trước, xong rồi cắt sợi sợi. Giống như sắt gừng á. Rồi. I'll try. Giờ con đang cắt cà rốt hả? Yep. Ok. So funny, I just realized carrot, cà rốt. Carrot, cà rốt. I just, I just realized that right now. Bao rồi giờ sắc nhỏ ra chưa? Sắc nhỏ rồi hả? Rồi qua cho nước lạnh vô khoảng chừng 2, 2 muỗng nước lạnh đi. Ok. 2 tablespoons of water. hai muỗng khoảng chừng hai muỗng nước lạnh rồi cho vô tí giấm mày lại cho giấm nè tay mở cho giấm em má mở mà ơ ơ được rồi được rồi ồ mạnh quá má mạnh quá má <cười> thank you má exercise nhiều không ừ sáng trưa chiều tối tập 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 tưới cây tưới kiển làm giường tập không sợ già đi không nổi ờ à, vậy má có tập tạ không má tập tạ trăm ký á wow <cười> Cho, cho người ta thấy muscle má ấy Yes Có muscle không? Ê What? Tôi không 
I can't, I can't. Hey, you, hey, you. I can't see it, but I think it's funny. My boo. My con boo giòn. Wow. She knows martial arts. Mà đừng có đừng có té nha. Ừ, thank you. Ok, bây giờ cho. Cô dám mà cho chưa mới quên rồi vậy? Chắc rồi rồi. <cười> rồi bây giờ cho cho dám nè. Ờ cho dám. Oh, thank you. White vinegar, bao nhiêu vậy? Khoảng chừng một muỗng rưỡi đi, khoảng chừng á. About one and a half. A bit of sugar. I don't know how much. It's gonna yolo. Đường khoảng chừng một muỗng hơn chút. Muỗng hơn chút, that sounds like a lot. Ờ thì thì từ từ rồi mình nêm thử rồi nó làm sao. Con hấp thử một chút xíu. Chút chút. Rồi con muối nữa hả? Ờ, có muối để má thử má rồi chừng nào má vừa ăn rồi má đưa cho con muối. Chừng nào bỏ muối, muối rồi mới thử phải không? Ờ, bỏ muối rồi mới thử. Rất ạ. Ừ, ngon. Ừ, rồi hả? Hả? Bỏ vô chút muối, chút thôi chứ không có nhiều nha. Tốt <cười> đầy Đây, đồ chua Tí giấm, tí đường, tí muối Tí nước lạnh Why the bitter? Bro, why is it so bitter? Má Ờ, cái gì vậy? What's bitter in Vietnamese? Con nói cái gì mà học? Đắng, nó đắng quá à Đâu có đắng đâu, con, con, con ăn Why is more sugar? Không, không, <cười> so không có, bây giờ mới thì nó vậy Chừng vài phút sau nó nó dám, dám đường muối được cái nó hết đắng hả? À. Really? Ờ à. Ok, con bỏ thêm đường Không, không, con phải bỏ từ từ á oh, Ờ, ok Phải bỏ chanh, bỏ muối, bỏ Quay nước Quay chanh nữa hả? Ờ, ờ, dám, mới dám Ờ, oh, ok Maybe, maybe more vinegar then Okay, let's try. Yeah, better. Rồi bây giờ xong cái này bây giờ mình cắt cái củ hành. Chừng nào cũng xong cắt củ hành. Okay. Thôi gì nữa? Whenever I look at an onion, I think of uh, Shrek when he was like, "What did he say? Onions have layers. Ogres also have layers. Something like that." I think that's what he said. <laughs> oh, that's a good movie. Shrek 2 was a great movie. I love Shrek 2. Hồi nãy má có biết con nói gì không? Không, không biết. Hồi nãy con nói là cha hành có What the lay is a bit? Cha hành có That sounds like a poem. Cha hành có layers. Con con quỷ cũng có layers. Gì vậy? Nói gì vậy? I don't know what I'm saying anymore Này là... Ồ! Oh. Tôm! Oh, no. Tôm tép oh. gì đây? Ồ! Oh, onions! Ồ! Oh, Thôi cry! Má! Cái mắt hả? Cái mắt! Ồ! <cười> oh, shit! Sắp khóc rồi! Có tí xưa chưa? Ah. À! Uh. <cười> I love you! Má cũng cay mà má cay chút chút. Are you alright? Yeah, I said I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Oh, my heart. You said it back. Bro, oh wait, what's next? Củ hành con cắt mỏng mỏng rồi chưa? Yep. Pork. Rồi Cắt cái miếng thịt heo ra, cái thịt ra rồi đó Wow Juicy Juicy Cắt mỏng mỏng thôi Ờ, cắt mỏng mỏng Con cắt chừng hát với thịt đó được rồi Ok À rồi, à, làm xong rồi phải không má? Ok, xong rồi, giờ ngồi nghỉ đi Alright, à, prep is done And next step, we're gonna start frying stuff up Alright, we are back And uh, ready to make the bun sale 
Oh, I just realized there. Yeah, now we get an apron. I don't know where this came from. Đây mỗi lửa như đây. Yeah, rồi. Rồi lửa lớn lớn lên. Yep. Nắm cho nắm cái chảo. Yep. Xong rồi bỏ dầu ăn. Dầu ăn. Ờ, ừ, bỏ dầu ăn ít ít thôi. Veggie oil. Con cho dầu ăn ít thôi. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Coat the pan. Yeah. Rồi bỏ của hành nha. Alright. Oh, right. Oh, onion. Còn cái thịt thì sao? Thịt. Không bỏ của hành, bỏ của hành vô quậy quậy ngay cho nó thơm thơm cái rồi bỏ thịt. Alright. Oh yeah. Rồi bỏ bỏ thịt vô trước. Put the pork a belly. Con bỏ thịt mà cắt mỏng nãy, còn cái nguyên cái cục bự đừng có bỏ vô nha. I'm Asian, I use a chopstick. Đây có nghe nó xèo xèo chưa? Should I try and flip? Con bỏ thịt vô chưa? Ah! Ah! I'm a pro. Có chừng nó giăng nha. Hey, looks nice. Trộn thịt qua lại cho nó cho chín thịt bớt. Rồi xong bỏ tôm vô nha. Oh, ok. Thịt quậy quậy cho nó chín bớt á, tái tái bớt. Yep. It's just pop. Ơ. Ah! Ú. Uh. Rồi tôm nha. Tôm đi. Oh yeah. Con trở trở cái con tôm nha, miệng tôm này. Wow, smells good. Con tôm Hết. này nó hơi bự, con trở trở nó qua. Hết sảy. Hết sảy rồi má. Ta nghe mùi thơm chưa? Yeah. Khóa đã. Rất là lễ hải. Trying to think of adjectives in Viet. Rồi bây giờ nó quậy, nó quậy nó bỏ bột để lâu quá. Oh, thì really? thì sợ nó cháy cái chảo. Còn cái tôm thì tôm bỏ vô rồi trở qua đó lại. Yeah. Rồi má bỏ cái bột vô. I mean you can eat prawns raw. So I ain't gonna die. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, I need like a ladle. It's just like not very efficient. You know what? I'm just gonna pop it in. There we go. Ok, lấy cái nắp đậy lại. Ah! Oh, I just bounced on my finger. Uh, this is too thick. It looks like a bloody. Oh, no, what did I do? I stopped it. I put more YOLO. There we go. Let's make it big. This is a thick ass pancake. I think it's meant to be thinner. Oh well. Stuff it. Con bỏ bột vô rồi hả? Yes. Rồi. Yeah, okay, bỏ giá. Where is the lid? Rồi, con đầy nắp khoảng chừng 2 phút con mở nắp ra. Oh, okay. Alright, mom said lid on for 2 minutes. Uh, it's been about 45 seconds. What should I do in the meantime? Dance. <cười> Rồi, con cho lửa nhỏ lại chút nha. Có cho lửa nhỏ lại chút không? <cười> Đây, yeah. con cho lửa nhỏ lên chút để bánh xèo nó cháy Ồ oh. Lửa nhỏ Ok Lớn quá nó cháy, để từ từ cho nó chín Bro, pancake looks thick as Like a... Like a... Like a... I don't know if I should say it <cười> But it's thick Phải hát nhạc xuân không? Chờ cho nó chín Hả? Xuân đã về, xuân đã về Xuân mới sang, muộn xuân phá cá vang Xuân thắm hồng, xuân nước Việt Việt Nam nước Việt ngàn năm, la 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 I don't even know what I'm doing anymore Tại, tại có nhớ cái bản tết 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 đến rồi không? Tết 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 rồi Tết 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 rồi I saw it Ngày mừng vui, oh, ngày xuân okay, ai cũng okay. vui chơi Người lo đốt pháo, người lo bánh chừng bánh dày Còn mẹ yeah, con mom. mình lo it, đô bánh xèo Alright Put the lid back on The bulb doesn't look It's cooked down below but I don't think it's cooked on the top So we'll see how we go Tài ơi đổ tiếp bây giờ, lát đổ tiếp một cái, hai cái hay là muốn đổ 10 cái nữa À Đổ cho hết bột luôn đi Ờ à, dạ yeah. <cười> 
Ok, bây giờ má coi thử coi nó vàng chưa Ồ, nó vàng rồi Ồ. Chờ chút nữa nó giòn nữa Nhưng mà vừa vừa giòn quá cũng hết ngon Ok, má lấy cái bánh xèo ra Oh really, oh ok à, Con xin con phải để con lâu hơn Ờ, cho nó giòn chút đi Của má nó giòn rồi, má thích giòn gì vừa giòn quá ăn nó cũng bị khô Của con nó hơi à Ồ, oh, thấy cái bánh xèo chưa? How do you say? Thick and thick <cười> Nó hơi mập À Nó fat Rồi, má xong cái bánh xèo oh, oh, oh. I mean the bottom looks nice, top looks a bit funny Giờ đổ tiếp cái nữa nha Alright, let's uh, let's take it out Ok Looks a bit burnt, but I like mine crispy. Look yummy, huh? <laughs> After you try. Mm. Alright, let's 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 attempt to play. Ah, it broke a bit. That's my bun All right, we uh we made it, Mum. Làm được không? Má thấy của con đẹp không? Đẹp quá. Really? Ừ. Thấy nó hơi uh, hơi tùm lum tùm la. Lần đầu tiên làm vậy là giỏi. Alright, first ừ. time she said it was alright. Ừ. Oh, yeah, uh, mom's approval. <cười> uh, yeah, của má đẹp lắm. Oh, thank you. It looks nice. <cười> oh, nước mắm của má cũng thấy đẹp hơn của con. Của con thấy oh. mắc cười quá. Thấy <cười> của con thấy mắc cười. Vậy yeah, má má thử của con ha. Thử ha. Alright, alright, let's uh, I'm gonna try mom's one. Mom's gonna try my one, see how it is. Alright, alright. Nervous. Let's so, um, see what mom says about my bánh xèo. I'm scared. Alright. Okay, bây giờ lấy rau lá là gói lại. I'll get some of yours. Đây. Tiếp tu. Cắt bánh xanh. Do you have enough stuff in here? I want a prawn. Give me a prawn. There we go. Rau răm. Okay. Uh, Viet mint. I don't know what it's called. Rau răm lá quế. Tí tô. Uh, cái này là tí tô hả? Tí tô. Ok. Tí tô. And cái này là... Rau răm. Rau răm. Xà lắp. Rồi, you got... Oh wow, cú má đẹp hơn cú con, cú con. I need to put more herbs maybe. Nah, it's alright. Ok. Pop this in here. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. Mmm. <laughs> Dumb move. Ngon, ngon, ngon. Ngon mà mới thấy chắc hơi cháy vậy chú. Chết rồi. Hơi cứng chú. Chắc lửa của con nó quá mạnh It said it's a bit burnt and a bit hard No Oh wait, I should try my one I haven't tried my one yet Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna try it try, Just try a piece of it Có phải không? Ui con cứng chút không? Yeah, your one's better <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed our blind cook-off. Uh, enjoy the rest of our content for Dirt 2021. And Happy New Year! Chúc mừng năm mới! Chúc mừng năm mới! Chúc bà con vui vẻ, khỏe mạnh. Happy! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs>
everyone, how's it going? So today, my name is Damien Nguyen, and I will be your MC today for the 2021 Iron Stomach Competition. So obviously, we're doing things a little bit different this year. Uh, the reason why, because of COVID-19. Um, but that doesn't mean that festivity stop. So we'll be doing the Iron Stomach today. Um, there'll be five rounds of incredible pain and agony like they have never experienced before. These poor people over here will be forced to eat through sour, salty, bitter, spicy, and one mystery round in the middle, just to throw things off, okay? So there we go. All right, so we're gonna start with a quick couple of introductions first. Just give me your name and something special about yourself, okay? We'll start on the end here. What's Can we special about me? Yeah. Hi, my name is Sasha. What's special about me? I love durians. You love so durians? I wow, to this. okay. I hope there's some durians. Oh, I don't know about that. We're not making anything too easy <laughs> this year, okay? Moving down the line, we have... Um, I'm Albert. Yeah, I made some mistakes today. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing that's interesting about you? That's what's going to be special about today, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and moving down the line, and we have... Hi, my name is Rachel, and I guess the most interesting thing is I play piano. Oh, the pianist. Hopefully, I don't know whether that can be helping you with your stomach today, but hopefully you'll be thinking the music, about it. The music. music. Yeah. You calm you down. Yeah. Nice, nice, okay. And we finally we have... Uh, I'm Henry, uh, something special about me. I cannot handle spice, period. <laughs> um, so why did you start off on a competition then? Don't do this to me. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Please give him a round of applause, guys. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So we wish you the very best of luck, okay? Iron Stomach competitors, good luck tonight. And let's hope you win that $350 prize. Second place as you get $50 because, well, they came second. And that's really the first loser of anything. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we're going to bring out the very first round today, which is going to be the bitter round, okay? You guys ready? Okay, and voila. So we have here an incredible cocktail of uh, a very bitter leaf, which I can't actually pronounce in Vietnamese, a bitter melon and raw coffee bean, okay? Feel free to have a quick smell, you know, you kind of get, kind of get the sense of getting used to what you're about to eat. But do we have to finish everything? You have to finish everything, that's right. So one of the first rules of Iron Stomach is essentially that you have to finish everything that's on the plate, right? And if you pick that's it, you're eliminated from the round, okay? So the very first few rounds, we won't have any time limit. It's just about surviving the very first round, okay? Make sure you go get a smell, you know, how are you feeling about this so far? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? You see when I bite into it. You see when you bite okay, yeah. How are you feeling, Albert? Are we allowed to swear or is, is it gonna be swear? Whose who's, who's idea is this? <laughs> how are you feeling, Rachel? It smells good. Smells no, good. Oh, a coffee one. It's a coffee, reminds me of coffee. Oh, it reminds me of coffee. And Henry, how are you feeling? This round should be easy. <laughs> this round should be easy, okay? Should All be right. easy. Basically, when I say it's go, get ready to eat, okay? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, a confident one from Tasha, okay? It's the same, it, it tastes pretty good. Henry, you're already drinking water. Is there an issue or are you okay? Or just to mix the coffee? Right, I see what you mean, yeah. It's not bad so far, right? You're enjoying it. So because you enjoy doing, I'm assuming you like kind of disgusting food in general, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to own up to that, yes. Well, Henry, you're doing quite well so far. You feeling good? Comfortable? Told you, it's easy. This round's easy. easy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Rachel, I think you need to pick up the pace ever so slightly. Everyone moving a little bit ahead of you so far. I need some condensed milk. <laughs> need some condensed milk. Wow, we already have someone who already finished. Incredible. R round of applause, everyone. Round of applause for Henry over here for finishing first. <laughs> this, this tastes like grass. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that a thing you have against grass, Albert? Yes. <laughs> I'm meat it up. <laughs> come on, guys. Come on. Push through it. I believe in you guys. Look at that, Sasha, done. Round of applause for Sasha, everyone. Good job. Albert also finished well. Rachel, you have another 20 seconds, top. Boom. <laughs> All right, Rachel's also done as well. All right, guys, round of applause. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. I'll take these plates off for you now, okay? <laughs> Albert, how are you feeling after that first round? Toughest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> really, really? Not, not, not climbing mountains, you know, not hiking, that kind of stuff? Like, I just, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with it. It's the toughest thing ever, man. Henry, how are you feeling? Great, motivated. <laughs> Confident, you would say? 
Yeah, sure. <laughs> so the second round this time, we just had to spice things up. We went from a really bitter round, now we're going to a really, really sour round. All right, ready? Three, two, one. And we have half a lemon with what looks like salt, or is that something else? Let me have a look. Give me a second. Ooh, ooh, that's sour. That is citric acid. That is citric acid. So in case you guys don't know what citric acid actually is, it's an extra flavoring element you put in baking. You know, put on its own, on top of a lemon that's already sour, okay? So Sasha, how do you feel about the sour round? Seeing it's a lemon, yeah. and I've not eaten a lemon skin before, I don't know, we'll see. All right, well, we might be able to change it. If, if, if everyone's struggling with the lemon skin, we'll, we'll tweak it a little bit here and there. But for now, try to eat all the lemon skin, okay? And Henry, how are you feeling? Great. Great. Ready wow, for this we one. have a very, very confident person up here, guys. Very confident. So you reckon you're ready to finish everything? Before them, sure. Before them, wow. Okay, all right, fair enough. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Come on guys, make some noise. That's okay, just go for your you favorite go for it in, in, in a bit, that's fine. <laughs> You're not biting you. And okay guys, if you can't bite through the line, just, just suck out as much as juice you can, okay? Do you have a knife? <laughs> no, we don't have a knife, use your hands I'm afraid. Well, how am I going to eat everything if yeah, there's no it's knife? It's really hard. You keep, you keep trying guys, keep trying. Look at, look at Henry over here, he's not even complaining, he's just going right through it. This is great. <laughs> oh, Sasso, oh, licking up all the citric, all the citric acid as well. Yes. <laughs> Rachel, being clever, fling, fling the lemon in half. I, I approve. Nice bit of ingenuity there. He Henry over here, guys. You have a look at look, look at Henry over here. Going, going full, fully into into his bowl so far. Impressive. Alba, you, you seem to be struggling a little bit here. A little bit lagging I'm behind. Eating, I'm eating this like a like a civilized person. <laughs> Taking out the rind, you know, and eating the, the meat. Oh, Sasha finished first. Round of applause, guys. How do you feel after that first round, Sasha? Not too bad. Not it's too actually bad. pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good, yeah? yeah? You enjoyed it? Yeah. yeah, I did. Do you want a second round, or? Uh, no. Oh, Henry. Henry, guys, round of applause. Swallowed everything so far. Impressive work. Very impressive. How did you manage that? I'm the crazy guy that actually eats the skin. <laughs> well, in that case, everyone, round of applause for these guys for finishing everything on time. Okay. Rachel, how are you feeling? Stop asking me. And Sasha, how are you feeling? Uh, not too bad. My lips are burning a bit, I think from the citric acid. But yeah, it'll be fine. You're feeling confident, yeah? Mm, Ready? Yeah, I, I want to beat them. So yeah. You want to beat you want to beat who? Sorry? Them, the black team. The black team. Oh, yeah. okay, 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 okay. So you kind of, so you, so you kind of want the final round between like you and Albert, is that right? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. Okay. It's three wafers put together with Vegemite. Because Vegemite on its own is incredibly salty. And then we have a salt lance extract, which is a Korean type of fish sauce. We went for a little bit of a different, different kind of thing. Oh, Sasha up there is actually being very confident about that. And we also have soy sauce as well. So essentially what the contestant has to do is pour the, the soy sauce over the crackers, right? And then take that shot of salt lance extract. Okay, so guys, just a little, little heads up here, okay? You cannot at any given time, right, spit this out or vomit it. If you vomit, you lose, okay? So make sure you keep it, take it back and make sure you keep it down. With the soy sauce, you can take it back if you want as well, or you can pour it over the cracker, one of the two. Okay, so you guys got a choice, all right? You guys had, yeah, you had a little smell already, yeah? How are you feeling about this one? Um, um, I'm not sure about the shots, but yeah. You're not sure about the shots? Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I think I can do it. Do you enjoy Vegemite? Are you, like, I do, I do love Vegemite. Do you eat it on its own? Yes. Wow, wow, okay. All right, she's ready for this one. How about you, Albert? This is actually the first time I'll eat Vegemite in my entire life. Wow, guys, we don't have oh. any Vegemite ever. Oh. Rachel, is there any word you can, you can say to Albert to make him to feel a bit better about the Vegemite you about to eat? It's just like fish sauce. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> well, I can do fish sauce. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so on the count of three, two, one, go. Okay? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Wow, 
Wow, look at that. Sasha already knocked away both shots like, like it was nothing at all. Seems like she, she's taking this one really easily so far. Albert struggling a little bit after the first Salt Lance Extract. <laughs> Rachel pulling on the soy sauce like 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 it was like a, like a dim sum really straight out straight out of primary school. <laughs> Henry still going through through, through the through the through the uh, through the wafer at the moment. Henry, is there a reason why you chose to go to the opposite route and not take the shot like everyone else? Their, their little strategy here that I'm missing. I'll leave the best for last. Albert, I heard you were coughing a lot and swearing a little bit after the first two shots. How are you feeling, mate? This is really salty. Vision might taste like ass. <laughs> <laughs> Albert, are you sure you want to be chugging the water down that early, mate? You don't understand. If you're not chugging something down, it's coming back out. <laughs> Sasha, a couple more bites as well. Albert, still half a cracker to go. Clearly not enjoying the Vegemite at all. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Round of applause for Sasha. She finished first again. Two rounds in a row. Rachel also finishing strong. It seems like the girls really seem to enjoy their salty food so far. <laughs> <laughs> and Henry also finishing high as well. Round of applause, guys. Round of applause. Albert, the one, last one left. Albert, you reckon you can, you, can, you can pull through? I don't know, ma'am. This is really solid here. Any words of encouragement for Albert? You can drop out now. Oh, <laughs> oh a bit of a taunt there from Henry. Rachel, any words of encouragement for Albert? I said if he's a true Aussie, he should finish. Come on, guys. Last round of applause for Albert before he finishes the last round. Come on, guys. Come on, Albert. Last little bit. There you go. Well done. Well done. Okay, so how are you feeling after that first ultimate round? I mean, you were, you were clearly enjoying your meal. How do you feel? It's actually not too bad. Like, I was expecting the shots to be worse than that, but I was like, okay, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Yeah. Okay, all right. Albert, how are you feeling after that? I mean, you were, you were struggling really hard on that veggie mite. I actually stopped the gag just like <laughs> two seconds ago, man. <laughs> Rachel, how are you feeling after that? You, you seem like you were enjoying it. Yes, I do. I, I'm a happy little Vegemite. Henry, how are you feeling? I think the two shots saved me. <laughs> two shots saved you at the end. Oh, okay. There you go. He enjoyed it. All right. So, uh, the next round will be a very special one. And we have underneath here... Oh, it's a blender. You're going to have to eat the blender, razor and all. I'm joking. Not really. <laughs> no, so the blender is what we're going to be using for the very next little bit. And... Boom. Okay, so what we have here, including a couple more ingredients along the way, we have a lovely jar of mayonnaise, because mayonnaise always goes down well. A little salt lance extract, a little bit of soda water for a bit of the fizz, and some green cordial for a bit of colouring. Uh, we also have some wasabi uh, peas, wasabi peas, just to add a little bit of that wasabi extra unique flavour. We have some vinegar, a little bit of extra, uh, extra umami flavour in there and we also have some lovely, lovely preserved anchovy fish sauce, okay? So all of these things will be going together and you guys get to enjoy a lovely, lovely little Iron Stomach special cocktail. Ooh, this one, this one's a little bit jelly-like, everyone. Ooh. Oh, it's f***ing chunky, man. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that sound. <laughs> He doesn't even know what he's putting in, man. Yeah. He's just like, look at the whole thing. He's putting the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. Just a touch. Just a touch. Just a touch. Oh! <laughs> touch, right? Just a touch. <laughs> a little round of applause, guys. It's looking decidedly. <laughs> <laughs> you have to clean that one. Oh. Oh. Okay. Give Henry a big shropper. Ah, uh, no. Wait, 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 this is a crime. It's a crime. <laughs> this he is a crime. crime. He did the crime. Like, gets every law of nature there is. <laughs> so this is the round where we do want to eliminate a couple of people before it actually the last round itself. Okay. So whoever is last to finish their cocktail, okay, will be eliminated. Okay. Audience, let, let, let's count them in. Okay. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> well, every record tastes like ass. Like, 
fucking type of ass. <laughs> Henry over here struggling. He's a tiny ever so bit. Slamming his fist on the table. Shame. I gotta say, Sasha here is doing incredibly well. Round, quick round of applause for Sasha, everyone. Holding it down, going hard and strong so far. You didn't blend the peas properly. <laughs> we wanted to make sure there was a bit of a continent, a bit of a continent. Th th think of it as like the, the pearls or the boba in your, in your bubble tea. Does that same kind of concept? No, it's not the same kind of concept. <laughs> Make sure you're holding it down so far. You feeling okay? Just give me a thumbs up. <laughs> give me a thumbs up. Henry, how are you feeling? Whoa. And round of applause for Sasha, everyone. She, 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 she polished it. She finished it off. Incredible work. <laughs> how was it for you? Surprisingly, the peas made it easier to stomach their liquid. Really? Mm. Really? That's your secret to eating the peas? Mm. Right? Mm. Just That's keep not... chewing the peas and then oh. down the liquid. How, it, how, how are the peas feeling for you, mate? Bar off. I think I might leave Henry alone because he's in, he's in to be in another state, another continent even, you know? It's okay, <laughs> bro. <laughs> ah! <laughs> So far, it seems like everyone had not even reached the stage of puking yet. It's, it's pretty impressive so far. So, very impressive. Oh, oh, oh no, everyone. Round of applause for Henry. Round of applause for Henry. Can you not So guys, I want to give you another quick round of applause for Henry, you know, our first elimination. Apology that you started your 2021 in such a horrible way, but... Can I still continue? Not, not to participate, but I want to try the Spice Challenge. Oh, so, okay, so he's eliminated, but he wants to try the Spice Challenge as well. Okay, how'd that? So another round of applause for his bravery, guys. <laughs> Every single year, we do the 2021 infamous Iron Stomach Spicy Challenge, right? It's been known, it's been tried, and it's been horrific for everyone involved every single year, okay? So I do want to point out that, you know, the spicy round will be split into two this year. So keep in mind that essentially we'll do the very first one will be relatively easy. And then the last one will be a little bit of a Vietnamese twist on a very classic dish that we've done before, okay? Drum roll, please, for the infamous spicy round. Three, two, one. And we have our classic McDonald's chicken nuggets covered in myriad of sauces. Right, we have, I believe, a Trinidad Scorpion Strike sauce, a little fire water from somewhere, I believe, I don't know where, and I believe a little bit of the bomb that we have left over from last year. Now, I remember, if any fans of the Hot One shows out there, the bomb is infamous for its disgusting flavour, as well as its heat that it hits you as soon as you try it. Guys, right, let's get a little reaction happening over here, okay? <laughs> Starting with you, Sasha, how do you feel so far? Um, no. No? No? no. Flat, no? All the confidence you had before was, was gone, is it? Um, I can, I can smell the spiciness in it. Okay, alright. Albert, how are you feeling? I heard you saying that you, know, you, can do, you, can do every, you can't do anything but spice. No, I'm going to take that back. I'm just going to say that <laughs> it, it, all, all the rounds suck, man. <laughs> all the rounds suck. That's exactly what we want to hear at Iron Stomach. Please use the chopsticks we provided because you don't want to touch this stuff with your bare hand because it can be a little bit corrosive and you put a little bit in your eye and that's it. Gone. Game over. Day's over. Night is ruined. You guys do have your bottle of water in front of you, okay? That is only the water you have left. This is elimination round, so we do expect one of you guys to, to quit and lose. Basically, the first person to stop, to, to simply tap out and, you know, and start tapping the bang the table, right? You start doing this and waving towards me, it means that you're done for the round, okay? All right, so guys, on, on the same time again, three, two, one, go! Daku. What did you do to these ducats? Right, she was waving her hand frantically trying to bring some bring some bring some air to her for cheek. Any feeling? No feeling, no feeling at all. Everything's going numb. 
Albert, already choking down the water, just a little bit over here. So after a contemplating life, death, all kinds of manner of things at the moment. <laughs> Henry hasn't even touched his nugget yet. The milk, unfortunately, is for when you get eliminated. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Henry, praying to his ancestors right now for a bit of relief in his head after a little nibble of the nugget. <laughs> <laughs> the tears are flowing and so far, only half a nugget, half a nugget, half a nugget. That's how hot they are. There's only been half a nugget for each person so far and the pain had been incredibly intense. I think I'm going to give up. I'm going to be a... Can I get a Are you sure, Rachel? Are you sure? Okay, Rachel has given up, guys. Rachel has given up. Okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Alright, that's too hot for everyone. Okay, so it looks like Albert and Sasha are the last two left for the very final round. Okay? Albert, how are you feeling after that half a nugget? Sasha, how are you feeling? Start with you, Albert. It's painful. How painful is it? Like, really painful. Really painful? Sasha? Her whole mouth is shivering. Her whole mouth is shivering, guys. Her whole mouth is shivering. But she's not giving up. Neither of these two are giving up. They're the very last two so far. Finally, we have the last round. As usual, we had to make up to ante every single year. But this time we went for a little bit of a Vietnamese twist on it. Okay. We decided to uh, to make bum bò hue, which is a very famous Vietnamese dish, right? Known for a bit of a spicy kick to it. The reason why we chose this dish is because it's iconic. Right. It's iconic, it's Vietnamese, we never tried it before, so we made it special for these guys back here, the last two survivors, Sasha and Albert. Give them a round of applause one more time, guys, for the very last round on the Iron Stomach Challenge. Okay, three, two, one, and voila! We have the delicious and spicy bumbo hue, right, with the famous Reaper sauce next to it, with a little skull on top of it for extra dramatic flair, okay? This thing rates over 2 million Scoville. For anyone who's familiar with the Scoville meter, it is a way to measure heat in actual chili food. The 2 million, right? Hottest there ever is. We put a plenty of that lovely liquid inside the bumbo hue. Sasha, you might give me a little bit of a smell and let me know what your thoughts are. I, I smelt it just now. Um, I'm just going to say one word, which you're definitely going to beep it up. It's like, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> Albert, similar sentiment? My hands are tingling right now. <laughs> you guys have all the milk, all the water you need, okay? Feel free to take a little bit of a sour lemon just to add a little bit of zest to your bumbo hue, okay? But keep in mind that this BBH round is all about who had the strongest will, okay? First one to tap out or the first one to finish their bowl. <laughs> do, we, do we get prizes for effort? <laughs> <laughs> no you, get, you get $50 for second place. <laughs> wow, did you hear that guy? Sasha's after the win. She wants the 350 for, she wants the 300 for herself and 50 for Albert. Alright. Alright guys, let's count them in, okay? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> a big bite from Albert. Also equally a big bite from Sasha. Albert putting his hand on his head. Anxious, nervous. Sasha over here having a poker face on. Absolutely no expression on her face whatsoever. Sasha, on, on a scale of one to 10, how the BB hate tasting for you so far? This particular bowl, it's actually not too bad. So far they're about, average about, I think three quarters of the way through his bowl so far. Sasha, about equal amount, I would say. Now we're putting out his chopstick. Is that a sign of giving in? No. Now we're clearly avoiding his greens over here. So far, Sasha is about halfway through her bowl, I'd say. Albert is almost finished all of his filling. Just the soup left. Very close. Just the soup left. It's really spicy. <laughs> I just tried the bloody the lettuce and it soaked in that shit. <laughs> Sasha, are you feeling the same way? The lettuce is, is a bit of a killer. Oh yeah. <laughs> every bite, I, every bite, I'm, I took there's like a layer of oil in it. 
Which one are you bastards? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, you, you don't look like you're developing a bit of a headache at the moment, don't I? Yeah, man, every, everything's aching. <laughs> Are we going in for another big goal? Sasha still going at the feeling, you know, taking her time. She done, she done. Good. 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 Oh, you, oh, Sasha, she's going for it, she's going for it, guys. She's going for it. Come on, guys, cheer on. Oh. And she's going for it, guys. She's going for it. Big go. Yeah, round of applause. Come on. <laughs> Going for it again, guys. Come on, cheer on, let's go. I'll tap him, call it. Ah, oh, we got a we got a forfeit winner. Okay, Sasha wins. Guys, round of applause for our Iron Stomach legend, our champion over here. Winner for the Iron Dummy 5 competition is Sasha. Put your hand up, Sasha. Yeah, round of applause for her. Thank you. And the runner up for Iron Dummy 5 is Albert over here. I used to it, boys. <laughs> okay, so as Thomas, here are your prizes. Okay, so Sasha, here's your $300. All right, mind you holding, holding the thing up for the camera. Yeah, give me a little face bite. Thank you. And Albert, here you are. Your, your runner up prize. <laughs> Okay, thank you. All right, round of applause one more time, guys, for our Iron Stomach winners over here. Thank you for, for thank you for uh, actually watching our Iron Stomach Fire competition. I hope you had a, you had a great time watching it and watching we had filming it. Um, please be aware that you know Iron Stomach runs every single year. It gets more challenging every single year. We hope to see you next year at an actual festival at Sandown, and we hope that you guys enjoy our online event this year. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. So Henry, can you still taste it? Oh, it's like it's like it's like it's like The poor thing. <laughs> well, anyways, aside from the Iron Stomach Challenge, are there any dishes that you're keen to try at Lunar New Year? Mm, Rob's mum's bun xiao looks very hap yang, but with Rob's one, uh, not so much. <laughs> but anyhow, next up, we have the second third concert. It's a little short, but still full of excitement. We have local bands and upcoming talents that will surprise you with their angelic voices. And please continue to support us with all your shares and your views. We really appreciate it so much. And so, without further ado, our, our second, second concert. Kính thưa toàn thể quý vị, Đình Hiếu xin hân hạnh chào đón quý vị cho ngày thứ hai, sau thứ hai của chương trình Xuân Tân Sửu 2021. Cái chữ acoustic nếu mà chuyển ngữ ra tiếng Việt theo ngôn ngữ bây giờ thì chúng ta gọi là mộc như trong chữ mộc mạc trở về với cái gì đơn sơ nhất có người tự hỏi tại sao có ca khúc hát với cả một ban nhạc có tiếng kèn tiếng trống hòa âm phối khí rất là công phu nhưng lại có một bài hát nào đó hát với một cây đàn đơn sơ mà thôi kính thưa quý vị tất cả nó nằm ở cái tâm tình ở cái thông điệp mà bài hát muốn gửi đến quý vị khán giả Xin mời quý vị trải nghiệm ca khúc Acoustic Mộc qua chính cái hình thức mộc của nó với Anthony và Tuệ. Xin kính mời quý vị thưởng thức. To be young and in love in New York City To not know who I am, but to know that I'm good as long as you're 
here with me To be drunk and in love in New York City Yes, been out in some morning coffee Burning through the hours talking Damn, I like me better when I'm with you From the first time, I'd stay for a long time Cause I like me better when I like me better when I'm with you I don't know what it is but I got that feeling Waking up in this bed next to you, swear the room ain't got no sin. If we lay, let the day just pass us by. Cause I might get to too much talking, and I might have to tell you something. It goes, I like me better when I'm with you. Yes, I do, yes, I do, babe. I like me better when From the first time I stayed for a long time Cause I like me better when I like me better when I'm with you Cause I do Stay a while, stay a while Just stay here with me Stay a while, stay a while, boy và Rob Thomas. Bài hát này là sự kết hợp tuyệt vời của hai yếu tố quan trọng, đó là bản nhạc Latin Rock Santana và ca sĩ Rob Thomas. Ca khúc này nằm trong top 100 của những ca khúc nóng bỏng của Billboard trong suốt 12 tuần lễ. Smooth tiếng Việt có nghĩa là mượt. Nghe để mà hiểu từng câu chữ trong ca khúc là một chuyện, nhưng cái hay là không cần hiểu. Chỉ nghe dòng nhạc chạy thôi là người ta có thể cảm thấy được từng tế bào của cơ thể cùng trôi theo dòng nhạc. Vậy nếu quý vị có tin thì xin hãy dừng lại ít phút cùng hòa vào dòng nhạc lắng xuống để coi ca khúc này có mượt như tối tả hay không. Xin kính mời quý vị thưởng thức. Like seven inches from the midday sun Like hear your whispers and your words Melt everyone But you stay so cool My Mona Pizza My Spanish Harlem Mona Lisa And you're my reason for reason Step in my groove This life ain't good enough I could give my world to lift you up I could change my life to better suit your mood Cause you're so smooth And it's just like the ocean 
under the moon And it's the same as the emotion that I get from you You got the kind of loving that can be so smooth, yeah Give me your heart, make it real or else forget about it I'll tell you one thing If you believe it'd be a crying shame In every breath and every word I hear your name calling me out Yeah, out from the barrio You hear my rhythm on the radio You feel the turning of the world So soft and slow is turning you Round and around And if you said This life ain't good enough I could give my world To lift you up I could change my life To better suit your mood Cause you're so smooth And it's just like the ocean to the moon and it's the same as the emotion that I get from you You got the kind of love and that can be so smooth, yeah Give me your heart and make it real or else forget about it It's just like the ocean under the moon And it's the same as the emotion that I get from you You got the kind of loving that can be so smooth, yeah Give me your heart, make it real Or else forget about it Yeah, or else forget about it Or else forget about it Yeah, or else forget about it Forget about it Yeah, let's don't forget about it Let's don't forget about it Yeah, let's don't forget about it Let's don't forget about it Let's don't forget about it Give me your heart, make it real Or else forget about it Kính thưa quý vị Xin hỏi quý vị, có bao nhiêu quý ông, bao nhiêu chàng và ngay cả nàng thường gọi bạn đời, bạn tình của mình là bé, là nhỏ? Và tại sao chúng ta lại thích gọi như vậy? Khi chúng ta gọi ai là bé, là nhỏ là khi chúng ta muốn nhắn gửi rằng anh đây, em đây là người sẵn sàng hy sinh làm tất cả, dấn thân tất cả để bảo vệ, bảo vệ bé, bảo vệ nhỏ, nuông chiều bé, chăm sóc cho nhỏ như một người yếu đuối. Kính thưa quý vị, kể cũng hay, người Việt ngại nói với nhau cái câu tiếng Việt anh yêu em hay là em yêu anh vì họ sượng. Nhưng thay vào đó, họ lại gọi nhau bằng cái tên là bé, là nhỏ để thay cho lời nói anh yêu em. Em yêu anh. Tết về, chúng ta cần nhắc lại tình yêu đôi lứa đó. Nhưng để nói thay cho quý vị, xin mời Jessica nói giúp chúng ta câu nói bé này qua ca khúc Be My Baby.
thưa toàn thể quý vị, xin được trở về với không khí vui nhộn của mùa xuân của Tết. Bài hát Sway nguyên tác là do nhạc sĩ Mẹ Thế Cơ sáng tác. Ca khúc được chuyển ngữ từ tiếng Tây Ban Nha của Anh ngữ để tả về cái nóng bỏng một người bạn nhảy trong điệu nhảy Mambo. Tả chắc không hay bằng thực sự nghe đâu quý vị ạ. Xin kính mời quý vị cùng thực sự nhập cuộc nghe tiếng bass, tiếng trống và cùng xoay, cùng xoay với ca khúc này với tiếng hát của Sandra. Xin kính mời quý vị thưởng thức. Marimba rhythm start to play Hold me close, make me sway Like a lazy ocean hugs the shore Hold me close, sway me more Like a flower bending in the breeze Bend with me, sway with ease When we dance you have a way with me Stay with me, sway with me Other dancers may be on the floor Here but my eyes will see only you Only you have the magic technique When we stay I go weak I can hear the sounds of violins Long before it begins Make me thrill as only you know how Sway me smooth, sway me The dancers may be on the floor Here but my eyes will see only you Only you have the magic technique When we sway I go weak I can hear the sounds of violins Long before it begins Make me thrill as only you know how Sway me smooth, sway me When the wind of rhythm starts to play Hold me close, make me stray Like a lazy ocean hugs the shore Hold me close, sway me more Like a flower bending in the breeze Bend with me, sway with ease When we dance you have a way with me Stay with me, stay with me When the wind of rhythm starts to play Hold me close, make me stray Like a lazy ocean hugs the shore Hold me close, stay more Like a flower bending in the breeze Bend with me, stay with ease When we dance we have a way with me Stay with me, stay with me Thank you Kính thưa toàn thể quý vị Có một ca khúc ra đời năm 1967 Hơn 50 năm trước Nhưng đến bây giờ vẫn được yêu thích Và được rất nhiều ca sĩ trình bày ca khúc này Và được nhiều người sử dụng ca khúc này Như bối cảnh của nhiều phim ảnh Tuy ca khúc có cái hậu mà chúng ta thấy như ngày hôm nay, nhưng buổi đầu trình làng, ca khúc này đã không được đón nhận như người ta mong đợi. Ca khúc này xin được một lần nữa gửi đến tất cả quý vị qua tiếng hát của ba chị em Hảo and Sister, có cái tên gọi là Luminous. Ca khúc có tên Can't Take My Eyes Off You. Xin kính mời quý vị thưởng thức.
sĩ trẻ tuổi nhất của Green Eagle Band chính là bé Annabel. Bé là người hát những bản quốc ca Úc Việt trong các chương trình trực tuyến của cộng đồng người Việt tự do Victoria gần đây. Hôm nay bé xin gửi đến quý vị ca khúc tiếng Anh Most Girls. Thưa quý vị, tuổi mới lớn điều khó khăn nhất cho các em là xác định mình là người như thế nào. Mình có gì, mình sẽ làm được gì? Và ai là khuôn mẫu cho các em? Nhiều cha mẹ quan tâm tới các em, muốn các em được hạnh phúc, lớn lên thành đạt trong cuộc sống. Và như vậy, Tết đến chúng ta thường chúc các cháu học giỏi, ngoan ngoãn. Nhưng có lẽ chúng ta ít có ai chúc các cháu được làm những gì mình thích. Bởi vì chúng ta sợ rằng các cháu sẽ làm những điều nguy hiểm, sẽ lãng phí thời gian, lãng phí những cơ hội của cuộc sống. Nhưng thưa quý vị, tôi nghĩ rằng quý vị lo hơi xa, bởi vì điều các cháu thích có lẽ rất là đơn giản. Các cháu chỉ muốn sống như đa số những trẻ em khác, sống hồn nhiên, sống như most girls. Xin kính mời quý vị thưởng thức. Some girls feel best in their tiny dresses. Some girls love the best of their pants like a little princess. Some girls kiss new lips every single night. They stay in a lake 'cause they just celebrate in life. You know, some days you feel so good in your own skin, but it's okay if you wanna change the body that you came. Be alive. 
chương trình đón mừng xuân tân sửu hôm nay có tên là ly rượu mừng xuân về tết đến mà không có rượu là kẻ như thiếu mất niềm vui phải không quý vị xin thay mặt cộng đồng người việt tự do victoria cùng toàn thể các anh chị em nghệ sĩ và ban tổ chức xin kính chúc quý vị một năm tân sửu được nhiều sức khỏe và an lành và cũng xin thay mặt toàn thể quý vị khán thính giả khắp nơi gửi lời cảm ơn chân thành Tới tất cả các anh chị em nghệ sĩ, ban kỹ thuật và ban chấp hành của cộng đồng người Việt tự do đã bỏ công sức thời giờ để thực hiện chương trình đón xuân thật đặc sắc này. Xin chúng ta cùng nâng ly, cùng hát với nhau ca khúc Ly rượu mừng để chào tiễn năm cũ canh tí nhiều sóng gió và hy vọng năm mới tân sửu sẽ có nhiều điều mới, may lành. Đình Hiếu xin thân ái kính chào tạm biệt quý vị và xin cùng nâng ly hát với nhau Ly rượu mừng.
thiêng liêng chúc non sông hòa bình hòa bình ngày máu xương thôi tuôn rơi mẹ ấy quê hương yên vui đời anh về trong chén tình đầy vơi Well, I mean, it was better music for the young people. Well, anyways, here we are, the finale of our Dirt Festival 2021. It's been a great pleasure hosting everyone over the past two days, and we hope you've thoroughly enjoyed our festivities. So, we thank you for sending your positive vibes and support. All of this will be available for viewing after the event. So feel free to rewatch and share the content. And this last video we're actually extremely proud of. So what's a dirt festival without some explosions and lion dancing? This next video here promises to deliver all the goods. So from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you for staying tuned over the past two days. We hope you have a lovely Lunar New Year and a lovely 2021. So again, I'm Henry. And I'm Hao. And chúng mình chúc quý vị một năm mới. Yo yao sức khỏe. Sống lâu trong tuổi. Tiếng yêu như nước. Và vạn sự như ý. Và mấy người phụ nữ thì luôn luôn trẻ đẹp. <cười>